Digital switching is more than just an electronic way of turning crucial onboard systems on or off. It's also a vessel and systems monitoring tool that can make life easier for owners of any size boat. Raymarine's digital switching system provides the full solution. It's networkable, provides partial or full automation to systems on board, and also has remote access for owners. We're here with Mark Coates from Barajoe Marine Electrics to take us through this crucial onboard system. So Mark, how big is the unit itself and what size boat can I fit it on? Okay, well here's the uh, example of a unit. It's quite small. We can fit it on a 20 foot vessel up to a 9500 foot vessel, no problem at all. So at its base level, how can this unit help me? The simplest way would be remove the switch panel from the dash, fit a larger multifunction display, add a digital switching module, and then that controls bilge pumps, navigation lights, wipers, bait pumps. So that's for a 20 foot boat, let's say. So we're on a 95 footer today. So how does the unit then translate to a larger boat like this? Well, on a 95 footer, you've got a lot more functions. So what happens is we can add as many of these units as we require. Uh, this particular boat has 23 of them, and we're monitoring and controlling the entire vessel. Excellent. And each unit itself can control how many functions? Uh, up to 20 outputs and 11 inputs. So that means we can run gauges, fuel gauges, uh, bilge pump, uh, monitoring, high level, etc. So I've noticed around the helm area there's a lot of multifunction display units. How have you set this boat up to make it easier for the owner? Okay, we found that there was a lot of switches and gauges that were all uh, confusing to the owner. Yeah. We fitted a multifunction display here and we made it have so that it had various functions. We had navigation lights, uh, wipers, hydraulic systems, anchor systems. So this one controls some basic functions. There's another unit on the other side there. What does that actually look after? This unit over here, it controls all of the engine functions, start, stop, gauges, alarm systems. And the one directly ahead, which is obviously the largest one we've got in this particular array. Okay, with that multifunction display, what happens is we can see cameras, engine gauges, navigation systems, and, and all of the uh, functions of the, the running of the vessel. And there's another really large screen at the back here. It's got a lot of bright lights and colours on it. Looks like it controls a fair few functions on board. What does that specifically look after? Okay, that unit over there, what it does is it controls the entire vessel. Generators, shore power, uh, hydraulic systems, basically the heart of the vessel. Each page has a separate function. We, on the first page here, we're showing a profile of the vessel. Uh, it has alarms and pumps running. The next screen we've got is a floor plan and I notice there's a few icons here. What do they actually show me? Okay, they show you whether there's pumps on, fire alarms on, uh, any, any alarm function on the vessel will come up on the floor plan. And then we've got monitoring, so AC power. Yes, with the AC power, this is quite handy. We have uh, shore power. You can clearly see that the shore power is on. It also controls the generators and gives us alarm functions as well. Power distribution. With here, we just have switching for battery switches, AC distribution, electronics on off. And then alarms, obviously an important page. Absolutely. Well, if you have, for instance, the garage door opened or closed, you don't want to be leaving the wharf with the garage door open, it tells you that function. Mm -hmm. Same with the bilge pumps, it tells us whether the bilge pumps are running, that how long they've been running for, will they burn out, etc. Yeah. And will it turn a bilge pump off automatically if I forget to do it myself? Uh, if it's running for a long period of time, it can do that. If you program it as such, yes. Yeah. And then we've got basic functions, engine room, fuel levels, and I guess beyond that? Much the same. We have fresh water, black water, grey water, tankage, and the actual pumps on off functions. As you can see, it's clearly labelled. Yes, absolutely. Uh, one of the things with a normal conventional panel is, is getting labels, and it's a real problem where here we can customise the labelling. Yep. Excellent. And I did notice back on this page, or the home page, we've got some modes at the top there. Can you briefly explain to us what they enable an owner to do? Yes, yeah, so on uh, most boats, people come onto the boat, they don't turn on various functions when they wish they did. Mm -hmm. What happens is you have dock mode, cruising mode, vessel unattended. For instance, in cruising mode, it turns on all the functions you need to actually run. When yep. you come back to the dock, you press dock mode and it turns off all the unnecessary functions. When you leave the vessel, 
you have a vessel unattended mode, turns everything on. So I can basically get on my boat, press one button, and I'm ready to leave the marina, essentially. That's it. Where you go. And yeah. similarly, when I get back, can I customise that to do different things and have perhaps more than just those modes? You can. You can have as many modes as you want on there. Uh, each mode could be, you know, sleeping mode, dock mode. And then beyond that, I've noticed that you've got an iPad sitting here with a similar, obviously, screen display. So I can control all of this from an iPad. Can I do that from home or do I need to be on the boat? Uh, you actually need to be on the boat because this Wi-Fi is directly to the screen yep. and it replicates what's on the screen, but you can do it from the comfort of your chair, your bed uh, or anywhere on the boat. So I could turn literally anything on on board from the comfort of lying in my stateroom downstairs. Exactly. I've also noticed text message alarms function. So it's turned off at the moment, but what does that actually do for me? Okay, what we've done in this boat is we've programmed that so that, for instance, if the uh, bilge alarms were going off, the shore power drops out, it would automatically send you or anyone that you want a text message. And you can then also text back to turn on generators, off generators, refrigeration systems on or off. It's quite handy, you don't have to be on the boat. So it gives me full remote monitoring of crucial functions on board. And control. And control, yeah. brilliant. What a great idea. Mm. I noticed on the helm we can have individual functions wired to individual multi-function display units and we've got one here in the cockpit. Why do we have a unit back here? Simply we replaced a whole row of unmarked switches. No one knew how to turn any function on in the cockpit. What we now have is clear labelled buttons to turn on cockpit lights, cockpit table lights and other functions throughout the cockpit. As you can see this unit makes it much easier for people to control the functions on their boat. This a 95 footer, we can control everything from a bunch of multi-function display units very easily. Let's go and have a look at a 40 footer and see how the system applies to that. We've left the Princess 95, which was a beautiful installation, and we're down here having a look at Mark Coates' own boat. This is a 40 footer, and it was built in 1997. It goes to show the versatility of the Raymarine digital switching in that it can be retrofitted to any age boat anywhere along the line. Let's go and have a look how he's put it together. Obviously on the Princess 95, there's a lot of things to control, so it's a fairly extensive application of the Raymarine digital switching. We're on board your boat now, so what have you done to actually set it up to make it easy for you to use? Okay, so this boat was a 97 built boat. Uh, it was, you could say, old fashioned. What we've done is we've removed all of the old switch gear and we've uh, fitted it to a, a digital system to an MFD, multifunction display, which is a third generation system. What I mean by third generation is that it's now three generations old. And uh, what I'm showing here is that can, we can physically fit it to a system that's old. Excellent. And how have you got your setup here? I noticed if we go to the home page, you've got four modes here. The other boat had three, so you've added one yourself. That's correct. Uh, we've added a, a mode of uh, uh, mooring attended, so that we're sitting on a mooring as opposed to at a dock like the Princess. Uh, we can run those functions as we would like to when we're on the mooring. Excellent. And what else have we got set up here? Okay, we um, have a, a page that shows all of the main systems on the boat. Inverter charger, generator shore power. We can control those functions from here, as well as monitor what's going on. And again, it's a visual display, so you can instantly look at that and understand exactly where your power's coming from. And if there's a problem, you can instantly identify it. That's right. And not only instantly identify it, but if there is actually a major problem, an alarm will come up yep. on the screen and tell us what's going on. Excellent. And this one unit can control all the other functions on the boat. So can I, from here, go to a map, for instance, or radar? Absolutely, yes. As like any uh, Raymarine screen, you can press the home key, you can get the chart plotter uh, or the radar uh, just through the standard uh, apps page. And very easily go back to the uh, digital, switching. digital switching page at the press of a button. That's correct, yeah. Um, with, uh, we're also controlling uh, our functions on refrigeration, tanks, blackwater tanks, etc. Yep. Engine gate. So it's, one, it's a one-stop control system for your boat. Have you set up any automation on board yourself through yeah. the system? Uh, yes, uh, we've, we've got the SMS alert that we discussed earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can send and receive text messages uh, through here. 
Uh, we've got automation in the, we have an automatic generator start system, so when the batteries get low, it'll automatically start. That all happens through the digital switching system. Excellent. We're on board a Cobia 217, 22 foot roughly of boat, and this again is an excellent example of the versatility of Raymarine's digital switching. As you can see here, we have a very old switch panel, and some of these switches have deteriorated to the point where they no longer work. By adding the module and controlling all of that through the multifunction display unit, which is waterproof, we can alleviate this problem being an issue over time. Not only that, but we've increased the automation and the intuitiveness of our system. Through the multifunction display, I can now monitor my batteries, but I can also set alarms for bilge pumps. If they stay on for too long, I can either get a warning or I can program the system to turn that pump off before I do irreparable damage. Raymarine's digital switching technology is very versatile. We've had a look at three setups on three different size boats, each one of them different, but nonetheless making it more enjoyable for the owners to use their boat more effectively. It allows you to monitor, automate and make changes to onboard systems from anywhere in the boat or in the comfort of your own home.